The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Room around the corner. He's to the 40. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Brought down at the 48. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Zips it over the middle. And he's level at the 23-yard line. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in a one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. What are you doing? Roger, Roger! Let's go, hey. Go on, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Get out! 87! And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Throws middle of the tight end. He's tackled at the 17. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Louisville is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. At the corner, he fights forward to about the 26. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 26. Watch two. Watch two. Out of bounds, the 32-yard line. That's a team six on the play. Third down. Choose the mic. Quick throw, picked off. Number two, two with the interception. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From the 30-yard line, first down. Louisville is up a field goal. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. The defense was in the backfield by the time he took the pitch. Great penetration. Around 
the 32 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field. And they really shut him down that time. No good. He hooked it left. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he is drilled at the 38. Throws a laser across the middle. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Watch two, watch two, watch two. Ready! Tackle made around the 43 yard line. him down for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. It's second and 15. Ball on the 38-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He goes out of bounds at the 43. That brings us third and 10. the stop at the 48-yard line. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Louisville holds a field goal lead. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of eight, eight yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. We've played one. The Cardinals lead 3 0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 25. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle at the 37. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. 
He's got him out to his tight end. Tackle right around the 44 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And now he's got room to run, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, Ball start offense. offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep down. their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Come on, come on oh. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Run, 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 run. run down after a nice run up the middle. run here, right side. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they'll get him in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisville has a three-point lead. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Scoops it inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From their own 42-yard line, third down. Hits him hard at the 42-yard line. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. And down he goes, the 33-yard line. You know, the quarterback that time took a big time major chance by putting that ball up into coverage. Now the receiver made the play, they get a first down, but if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. Here we go, 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Down at about the 43 yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throws completely stopped immediately. That brings up second and five. Second down. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Touchdown, BC! I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 83-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. He sends this one deep. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Looks left, picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Boston College is up by four. He's looking for six. Touchdown, Boston College. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into it. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Tries to get around the corner, and he's level at the 21. 
It's third and 14. Ball on their own 21. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. Boston College is in front by 11. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Taken down around the 24-yard line. That play was over before it got started. Was that was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. And he's tackled at the 24. His left going the other way. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 40. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. That'll bring up second and three. And here's a quick throw. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. their own 14-yard line. First down. Oklahoma! 
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Stop the 24 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. Gets out to around the 32. and drag the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. No gain on the play. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. You wonder what kind of impact the special teams play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. In win like this, fielding a punt is like trying to catch a knuckleball. And sometimes, you just don't know where it's going to come down. Tackled after a decent pickup. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. It's a smart job here by the coaches, making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. First and 10, ball on their own 38. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle at about the 45. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it out to about the 39. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Mike 34, Mike 34. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll make the sack. You know, the offensive line really let the quarterback down there. They've got to do a better job of communicating against the blitz. One thing to pick up a blitz, but you also have to obviously pick up your defensive lineman. That time, a miscommunication, and the result is a sack. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. And he 
he's taken down around the 45 yard line. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. They line up at the 12. It's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 14-3, Boston College. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 38. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Bring him down to the 48 yard line. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They'll get him for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. He just gets rid of it. Trying to change the field position with his kick. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up. That's a good that test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? He's under some heat, and he tackles him hard at the 29. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go, hey. Go on, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Got it! Yellow Knight! Got it! Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. From their own 36-yard line, 
Third down. Less than three minutes in the game. And he can't get away from the pressure. Six-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 46. No gain on the play. Louisville is going to take their first time out of the half. Second and nine. Ball on their own 46. Black 55. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Louisville will take their second time out of the half. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Just under two minutes in the game. Spikes the ball. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 14. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 14-yard line. you can do there you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance both sides have made their way back out and we're just about set to get going again he's tackled at the four yard line Call it a gain of three yards. That brings him second and goal. From the four-yard line, second down. Brought down at the nine-yard line. That makes us third and goal. to about the eight-yard line. Louisville staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye. <laughs>